In this video, I want to share with you how we can use timestamp feedback for a teacher to be able to evaluate their own video and also for a coach to be able to give uh, feedback asynchronously, but also to be able to then have a conversation. So what you see here is an example of a video that I did of myself. So I just used my cell phone to record uh, part of a lesson that I was doing when I was giving a workshop. So this is a lesson on differentiation and I'm introducing a piece of it here. And so what you see here is the introduction. You see some of the participants. So I just set up my cell phone in the back of the room and what I can do now as a teacher, so if I was a classroom teacher and I had done this, so I had just set up a cell phone or an iPad and recorded this in the app, I can go back and I can watch the video or my coach can also watch the video and I can hit play, I can watch the video and I can make notes of it. So as I'm watching this, I can be rating timestamp video. So right now, I notice that I'm sharing the, the objective of the lesson. And so I might write a comment. I might say, um, I might ask a question. I might say, I'm wondering if a student could have shared the objective. So that might be an idea. And not only can I add that comment there, if you notice, I'm gonna just stop that video for a sec. So if you've noticed here, I've added the comment and it's timestamp. So it tells exactly where it was. If you see it's at uh, 43 seconds in. So I've added that comment there, but I can also add another comment. So here's a quote. So if you notice now I'm sharing a quote with participants and I might ask a question. So I might say, um, could a participant read this? And this is a question. So if you notice here at the bottom, I can categorize these either as a question, an idea, or a bright spot. So I'm going to tag this as a question. So I've tagged it as a question. I'm adding that in. And then I can go on throughout my lesson. So let's say I'm just watching the lesson. And I'm watching as they're doing this. And I can say they seem excited. And I might think that's a bright spot. Oops, sorry, I'm saying that's a bright spot. So I'm la labeling that as a bright spot and I'm adding things. So I continue, I look through my lesson. Um, is there a routine for movement? So I might ask that question. So I'm going through and I'm adding my things within my lesson. So as you notice, all of the different comments come here. Now, asynchronously, my coach, if I'm the classroom teacher, my coach could also be looking at the video and adding his or her own comments. They also can go back and they can reply to a comment that I've written, right? So I said, I'm wondering if a student could have shared the objective. Somebody else could come in, my coach, this is just shared with my coach. My coach could write a comment back. They could say, is this, they might say, um, is this a practice you use in your room? How might you start doing this? And we can actually have a conversation back and forth, but related to what was happening in the lesson, which is really exciting. Another thing I wanted to show you is that as the teacher or as the coach, I can go and I might just wanna look at questions that were posed. So I can sort it just for the questions or I might sort it just for the bright spots or just for ideas that popped up if there were ideas that were shared. So it's really exciting to be able to think about how I can look at a lesson that I taught or even a cropped piece of a lesson. So if I recorded an hour, I can trim it down to just 10 minutes or 15 minutes I wanna share with my coach. And I can then have time-stamped actual feedback related to what I think, what a coach thinks, and we can have a conversation, a meaningful conversation, exactly about the lesson that I taught. So I hope you find this helpful and I'm excited to talk to you more about this.